today we're going to review the RY Pro 10 or RY 10 Pro rubber applicator. Excuse me. Um, so I chose the Pro over the Elite just because I felt like that was the best choice for uh, my business at that point in time, and we were going from a pour pot to an applicator. So it was already a step in the right direction, but the debate was which one do we go with? Um, I looked at Kingways, I looked at uh, your, your MA10s, and I ended up with these. Uh, very satisfied. So here's a couple of the reasons. One, you can have them heat up on the trailer while you're on your way to the job, which is huge. Um, the fuel consumption is, I mean, I've heard 30% better, 30% or better fuel consumption um, as far as your savings. I would say it's more like 50%, especially on a colder day. Um, just, I mean, the amount of 20 pound tanks you go through on this versus other ones that I've used in the past, not comparison. Um, I personally don't have any sort of complaint with the valves, the way the puck works. It, to me, it just works flawless. And the biggest thing is going from two men to fill cracks down to one. Um, it just, you're literally cutting your labor in half. So you got, if, if you're using a crack jet like we use, um, depending on the time of year, depending on the cracks you need it, you got one guy crack jet and the other one's filling right behind his shoulder. Um, the other thing too is I know that some people can get comfortable in their process, which is great. If you're comfortable, that means that two things. You're efficient, but you're compliant. Um, so you're efficient in what you've, the process that you've gotten used to, which is a good thing, but that means that, that also means that you could not be looking for ways to improve. Um, and that was kind of my case at first. Is I felt like, well, we were doing such a good job with the four pot and squeaky. I mean, we can just run circles around anybody. This must be the thing. And then I started thinking about the labor costs. Um, as soon as I, the, the first time we started running this thing, I was sold. So um, you got to think too is time is money, efficiency is everything. If you're waiting for material when you get to a job, you're losing money. If you don't have material, let's say rubber in this case, ready, when you show up to a job site, you're losing money. This machine is, just brings up your efficiency tenfold. A um, couple of the things I like about this is it's um, pretty bare bones, which I'm a fan of as far as between this versus the Elite. Um, I'll, I'll show you a couple of things that it comes with. The temperature gauge works very well. Um, and it's very accurate. Your regulator doesn't take much adjustment. And to be honest with you, you can adjust it, let it set for a few minutes and watch your gauge drop. It's not like it's a mythical thing that doesn't work. It does work and we use it every day. Um, the valve setup and the shrew, I haven't exactly compared side to side. It's not necessarily something that I've ever needed to complain about because it's always worked. If you gotta heat it up a couple minutes with a torch right off the beginning, that's just part of filling rubber. You know, it, it, I've, I've heard complaints, well, you know, is there a way around this? No, <laughs> you sometimes just have to fill up, just heat some stuff up with a torch beforehand. Um, rubber, in my opinion, is one of the least favorite things we do, but products like this make it a lot more easier and pleasant for me to be willing to do, the guys to use it. It just, it, it, night and day difference. Um, the fact there's an igniter on the front, it's just a little push button. I don't know if you can hear it clicking, but push this button, wait for it to light, and there you go. The mixer. Lid's easy to open, chain holds it up for you. The, the agitator works from the position of the operating stance. Um, you don't have to reach over, you don't have to walk around, nothing like that. This whole machine is operated right from this position right here. You got your shoe dropping down, you got a lock for it, you got your valve, you got your agitator, you got your... Um, um, 
gauge. There we go. <laughs> and you're right. The other thing too is it's quiet. The burner is very quiet. It's very efficient, like I said. Um, and it's just all around like this. This will pay for itself in the first day you use it. And that's not an exaggeration. First day. So I'm Kyle, Integrity Earth and Asphalt, Northern Michigan. Uh, have any questions, feel free to get a hold of me, message me, whatever. Uh, thank you Rhino Works for putting on a great machine. I'll definitely be buying another one.